All right, guys. Now, I want to see what the 4.7 can really do when it comes to really getting through a, uh, a pe you know, a, a nice piece of hardwood. This isn't pine or anything like that. Let's see what she can do. My goodness. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Absolutely right through it. No issue. Let's, let's see how many pieces we can take off of here. There's one. Batoning wise, I don't think I've had a knife that batons as well as this. It's absolutely like loves to just split. I will say it is a thicker knife, but it just really wants to split that wood good. I mean, the thickness of it does give it just that right there. That's just... Ben's just done a really good job making a good little knife. Let's go into a little knot there. There we go. And it's just taking what I want. All right, guys, so let's talk 4.7. The 4.7 did real, real well. Held an edge great. It's still not hair popping sharp, but it's still very, very sharp. And it's done enough. It's done a really, really good job, guys. Really batons phenomenally well and processes tender really well, and that's what I like about it. I like the fact that it has these... I mean, you can just screw these in. They're not they're not glued in or anything like that. And you just clean this knife up, but it really doesn't. I love the look. Guys, give the 4.7 a shot. I think 135 bucks, not bad. Comes with this awesome little Kydex sheath. The only thing I'd maybe add to it would be something to hold your, uh, your ferro rod, but man, great knife.